It was a rare sight on the Chesapeake Bay today. 13 skipjacks sails up, raced across the open water. WBOC's Midshore Bureau Chief Tyler Butler was at the 56th annual Deal Island Skipjack race today. He takes us aboard one of the historic vessels during the race. A skipjack fleet that used to consist of about 800 boats has over the years dwindled down to just about 25 or so. The bulk of those remaining skipjacks were here on Deal Island today celebrating their heritage. And what better way to do that than through an old-fashioned race? It's a sight that used to be common along the Chesapeake Bay. Skipjack after skipjack tied up at a harbor, waiting to be sailed. Deal Island race director Stoney Whitlock has sailed here for 54 out of the 56 races. He says the sight of all these boats always feels like home to him. Well, we got a great amount of boats this year. This is over half of the fleet that's left in the world. Uh, right here in this harbor this morning. We got 13 boats and there's only about probably 25 existing. Before setting off, we go looking for the Helen Virginia. She's last year's champion, raced by a team entirely made up of women. It's also the boat WBOC chose to sponsor this year. The crew says it looks like it's going to be a challenging race. We have absolutely no wind right now, so we'll see what happens when we get out on the water. But without wind, every boat's going to struggle with getting the right amount of power and being able to actually do something. On shore, spectators say they are ready to see the race as boats slowly make their way out into the bay. So as long as the weather holds up this nice, it won't really matter about the speed. It'll just still look good. The sight of 13 skipjacks, sails unfurled, gliding across the water is something truly special. But despite the beautiful weather, the wind is borderline non-existent. That makes for hard work for the crew. A race that was originally supposed to be a full circuit wound up being a race to see who could make it to the first buoy. To make it there, it took a lot of tacking, a lot of jibing, and a lot of hard work by April and Carrie on the jib sail. Katerina Ennerfelt, the captain of the Helen Virginia, says wind wasn't the only thing working against them. It was no wind, and then we had a tide turning, so we actually went against the tide. So at a um, couple of instances, we were going backwards. At one point, it took 45 minutes to come about, but once we did, the wind was finally in our sails. We sailed past three other boats, not bad considering we had just been in last place just minutes prior. But that third boat, the Ida May, stuck with us to the end, providing quite the challenge to the Helen Virginia crew. In the end, we crossed the line, hot on the heels of the city of Crisfield. Katarina says despite the lack of wind and slow speeds, the event is a big success, providing an economic boost to the small island and preserving the history of the skipjack fleet. We wanted to make as much noise as possible to make everybody aware that the skipjacks are here, they're alive, that's our heritage, and they can be saved. At the end of the almost four hour long race, here are your finalists. First place was Virginia W. Second place was Fanny Doherty. Third place was City of Crisfield. We were in fourth on the Helen Virginia. Reporting on Deal Island, Tyler Butler, WBOC News.